What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here. Welcome. I'm back to the walkthrough. Now, I know we left off at the seedling, but we actually need to trigger one more interaction with the Wayfarer. So we're going to just run straight on over to where he's at. It's not too far, but we're just going to run on over to him, and then we'll use a Vestige Moth to warp on out. And typically, he should have been there earlier, but I guess we, we didn't reset the world state, which was my mistake. So we'll just run on back, interact with him real fast. And then we're going to continue on from that vestige that we have planted. Make our way up to the Mance of the Hollow Brothers. Work through there. After that, we got the Tower of Penance. And then we have uh, the Abbey. Pyrian. And then the castle. So we're, we're getting closer to the end of the game. I would say once we clear Mance, I think we're, we're over the hill. So just keep on running, 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 running. And right down here. Oh no. Oh, I survived. Awesome. Hell yeah. This I'll talk to him. I was but I thought and look around. What good or prevent? It's always that they pretend that, but it's my own. Even when I even when I tried to. Alright, so after we got him to say even when I try. Pop out, hit this. And you can either run back or you can uh to, you know, warp back. We need to let that play out. That's in spell. Well. Okay, that was a lot shorter than I remember, so we'll just go ahead and pop a Vestige Moth to get out of here. So I'm a little apprehensive. We just finished up the walkthrough prep, and one of the zones we're making our way towards was bugged. So I'm really hoping it's not bugged again, because if it's bugged, that's going to be very, uh, very embarrassing. So uh, anyway, so we're back over here. And you'll remember that we grabbed, I believe it was a hatchet upgrade, and then some loot over there to, to kind of get this, this stuff started. Um, but, so the first thing we're going to do is create an umbral path. We're going to walk across that. Uh, this one guy, well these two actually, they might try and hit you. If they're not looking at you, you're probably safe, but just be aware of it. Don't spend too much time kind of uh, puttering around. And so past this ladder is going to be a spiky head. So you can see him right there. I just need him to round the corner. All right, that'll take care of him. It's embarrassing that that's not hitting. Another umbral path. Up in here. Get a bunch of materials in this chest. And if we go on over and take this path, we can kick down this ladder. And you may recognize this as the uh, that tall ladder that's like right near kind of the the entrance of this area where we had to. You know, if we run over there, it's that first big encounter where we got our, our first piece for Dunmeyer. So just, just more world interconnectivity. A uh, chest with upgrade mats. So back to the ladder and then we're gonna go up. Okay, I don't know why that's being funky, but I'll just kill myself and not enter Umbral, I guess. Yeah, it's weird, the latest hotfix has actually made things buggier, it feels like. So anyway, being Umbral shouldn't be too bad here. Uh, so do this, we're going to go up this ladder. And then there's actually a spiky enemy above. You can kind of see him right there. So we're going to try and, and get his attention. Fortunately, it doesn't look like that worked. So instead, we'll just proceed ahead and we'll get ready for him to try and ambush us. You're not getting off the ledge, but you need to go. It's your destiny. There we go. It's more like it. And since the mage came down, we'll knock the mage out as well. Beat him over to enter Umbral, and uh, this works out because ahead we got to drop for a belly pop. So 
go on and get the Shon Rune. After that, we're just gonna go back to the ladder. So as we continue up, there's gonna be two soldiers and then a uh, another one of those ambush barrels with an archer behind it. Insta giving shit. That's great. Soldiers are right here. I'm just gonna trigger that. goodies and we'll climb on up afterwards we got two more archers to our left that we are able to snipe I say snipe but they're like on top of us seen that before. Oh god. Alright, well, we're gonna go up to give ourselves a small little break from all that. Wow, blowing me off the ladder, are we? I didn't want to get this yet, but we'll just do this now, since we're looking in a, in a bad situation. So this actually goes up to the manse. Uh, there's some other stuff that's right there that we want to get access to still. But since that was looking a little iffy, we can run on up here and grab the manse vestige, and that way, even if we die, uh, we're, we're in a, a safe place, so... Run on around. There is the Mance Vestige. We can go ahead and talk to the Iron Wayfarer again. Rune of, they all want me to ruin it. Let the gods like these. There's no let moons. There's no salvation here. All right, we got his dialogue exhausted. Now we're gonna run back, go down, and. Say hello to all of our friends that are so adamant about fighting us. Remember, I don't think there's any loot here. He's gone. Goodbye, Pure Blade. Open this up. We have a knight inside. Cooked by the Holy Fire. Grab the Blood Letter. Pretty nice fist weapon. Uh, up the ladder, and we have a Ambush Mage. And then another one that's just ahead of us, so... Kind of see him right there, he wants to... Do that. Alright, um, let me check. Go inside, plant a seed. Ed, pop the parasite and snipe the soldier. Well... <clears throat> I had planned a seed in the notes, but we might be able to do this without planting a seed since we already went ahead and grabbed the uh, the manse thing. But if you're worried, man, I don't know why those guys have such like insanely low holy resist. Doesn't make any sense. 
Yeah, don't plant a seed. We're gonna be just fine. Uh, so we go out. Stop that. Grab the marksman armor. Now, remember, we go up first. So actually, I should just be looking at the loads. Up the ladder. Go up top for an archer that is guarding a ring. There we go. We got the slinger's ring. And then continue down the long ladder for a mage ambush. And then taking this down. This is just going to um, add more interconnectivity into the zones. That ladder that kind of brought us out to, to this is the place I was talking about with the ladder. Well, now we have an elevator that goes here as well. All right, and this is going to be the hardest part. So in the room, there's going to be some stuff that we need to kill. And there's two reapers, so want to be very, very cautious about popping this parasite that's up ahead. Benediction, Holy Ward, Smite Cure, Blue Cure. And that's it. So if you want to fight the Reapers, go for it. I'm not usually uh, a big fan of it, but we can... Yeah, we can fuck around. Why not? Some extra extra vigor out of all that. And now we would just go back to that uh back to the manse, so. In vestige moth, we're just gonna run it. It's not that long of a distance. And the great thing is after this, we are now we are we are done with Pilgrim's Perch. This was the last of Pilgrim's Perch. Anything beyond this is considered Mance of the Hallowed Brothers. And we even saved on a seed. How great is that? Funny, because there's there's times where where this build is like clearly just sweeping. Uh, but then there's other times where the Umbral build that I'm doing for the walkthrough prep is pretty disgustingly strong. We're gonna go up. Uh, we have two enemies to kill, and then a soldier near a gate, and then we're gonna enter Umbral. I think I'm gonna take small, like mini breaks to just read my notes. It's probably a uh, probably a safe bet. Okay, I didn't write down anything about loot here, but it always bothered me because this is there's so much stuff to break here, and I feel like there should be loot. Go up. How close are we to a level anyway? Oh, we're like on the precipice. Let's just pop one of these guys. Get a level. Almost at that uh, that 40 bigger threshold. Forty-two 
property vitality. All right, so we've already talked to him. Kill them. And we're gonna go ahead and enter Umbral. There's a gargoyle that you can kind of see. You're pro he's probably gonna target you before you target him. So just go ahead and back up and then take him out. And you can already see more of them by the corner there. One more. We have two gargoyles, mages, some thralls. Hi. And then after that, we can exit. So once we get over here, there should be an enemy that we can hit with a plunge attack. Take him out and then come on over here to open the gate. Heading in this other direction is a paladin with an archer above him. I'll try and target the archer first. Come on, show yourself, please. Mr. Archer. There we go. It's going to be so much stronger once I get my stuff. Um, so nuggets hidden in boxes, and then we take the stairs up. The left up here through an umbral gate. Kill some basic soldiers and grab some loot. Enter Umbral to pop the seal. So, so enter Umbral to pop the seal, then drop down and head forward. Ahead is a Reaper guarding the Cursed Set. Map of the Mance. Work our way up here. Do you not like how that feels? This. Curse set, and we can exit here. Uh, if you're playing an Umbral build, it's a very uh, theme-friendly set of fashion. It's actually a pretty beefy set as well. It's right here, like immediately under Sovereign Protector, so definitely a solid heavy set. Uh, pop seal, head is required. So exit, continue up, Umbral Bridge, kill the Archer Trash, and the Paladin up ahead. Oh god, no. Well, that would have been bad. Oh, actually, it just would have looped us if we fell, but... Across the Umbral Bridge, there we go. And then we can go ahead and... Pop him off. And we got this in the corner. If you were to take this path, this is just, uh, it's basically the other way we went. We just went into there and then made our way up around the umbral path instead. 
It just allows you to approach this area from behind, makes it a good bit easier. Uh, so as we head inside, there's going to be an archer pretty much immediately to our right. And after that, this one. And we have the soldier and then the big guy. Holy shit, too. I feel like when they try to block the holy damage, it like amplifies and blows them up, I notice. Because he was trying to block with his sword and there was an extra burst he took there. Uh, let's see. Archer, one ahead, soldier, knight behind the plank. So enter Umbral. We're going to go right, kill two mages and thralls to reach the Lucent Sword Ring. So enter Umbral here. I haven't actually tested this, but it's supposed to increase your damage like, when you're at max health, I believe it is. So it'd actually be a good opportunity to test it. So let's see. So I'm doing 439. Four thirty-nine. Oh, additional physical damage. Okay, that's not gonna help us at all. We deal holy. All right, so we're going to continue on ahead and just kind of circle around here, killing baddies. This is adorable, open significantly later. This. Now I'm really liking our our, our change-up to the one-handed sword and shield paladin, even if I'm not really blocking at all. It's working quite nicely. Grab the smite here. I'm gonna loop this way. And we're gonna go over here and grab the goodies. Grab the other goodies right here. Uh, right here is just a little umbral door. You could have just you know, gone through this if you want. It doesn't really do anything. It's just a different way to approach this. Uh, so let's see. Middle path kill archer. Barry's bleed here ahead. Then go back and right up the stairs. You emerge, run straight ahead into the doorway for a vestige. Oh, wow, we're already at the manse. Damn it, it happened so fast. I was thinking, actually, I ended the stream early because I was worried about uh, having too much stuff to recover. But yeah, don't touch this. It's a waste of your time. We are moving and grooving right now so just run past uh now this area is traditionally it's one of the worst areas in the game in terms of optimization uh, when i was here on my let's play it was incredibly laggy uh, when i was just streaming a little bit ago i had a lot of issues going on with frames so if this area gets wonky for you i'm sorry just kind of it's it's, it's something so, with the manse this but is where talk those men here. more in the dip. it's quite something he has anything you want now is a good time to purchase on up so we're gonna make a right and roll through this little section here love that little gladiator lunge uh let me see make a right ultra soldier oh and heavenly vial that's over here as well up top is two soldiers and an archer guarding duty's chime. And I'm going to kill the big dude for the man's kitchen key. Alright, some loots from them. 
There we go. And we're going to be working our way up there, but this actual section is basically done. So, uh, where did you go, big boy? There we go. Let's try and... Big plunge attack. Oh, there it is. I was like, he did not drop the kitchen key. That's uh, it's kind of awkward here. Uh, so let me look at the notes. See how far we want to go. Because we're kind of getting into like Mance proper now. Hmm. Ready? Do we go? No, I think I, we're, we're at a good spot. We're, we're at a good spot. Oh, hang on a second. There's a loot hanging up in a tree that we missed. Just noticed the note about loot hanging above. Did we? Oh, hang on. Da -da, do -do 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 -do. Into the kitchen. Oh, never mind. That's in the kitchen. That's up ahead. I'm done. All right. Well, yeah, we'll wrap up here. Uh, we're going to be crossing over and doing the kitchen in a little bit, but... Where we are properly in the manse, so this is a, a good spot to close out. And we can probably get through a majority of the manse, probably the entirety of it, in the next episode. And that'll set us up for the Tower of Penance. So stay tuned and I'll catch you all soon with more.